Today's video is going to be a finger coiling routine for shorter type 4 natural hair. I had so many good moments with my coily hair while it was short and today I'm going to show y'all how I achieved this look so let's get into it. Starting off, I like to section my hair because it just makes the whole process easier. The shorter your hair, the more sections that you'll most likely have to do, but this is really all optional. My first thing that I like to make sure I have is a water bottle. I like to use a rat tail comb because it's good for sectioning and detangling, especially if your hair is shorter. And then my styler of choice today is Eco Styler Gel. I'm using the pink curl and wave one. Now, this is completely optional. You can use whatever type of styler. You can use cream if you want to. I know a lot of people like to go in with cream cream and then a gel. I like to do that as well, but when my hair was shorter, I found that it was just easier for me to use just gel, and it worked for me. So I just say what works for you, works for you, and use that, but this is just what I use. Now, as y'all can see, I'm already taking y'all through. I go off by detangling my hair first, of course, then applying gel. Then once I put the gel through, I detangle it again, just to make sure that the gel is evenly distributed throughout the section. Finger coiling is literally the easiest thing in the world. I know that a lot of people have questions on it, but once you get the hang of it, it's more so a time consuming thing than it is an actual hard concept. You're literally just twirling each little section that you take around your finger and letting go. And of course it creates these cute little coils. I personally did this to define my hair because it's what got my hair looking the most popping. Me personally, my curls don't pop straight at the shower. And let me know, comment down below if this is something that you can relate to. Because I know a lot of girls, their curls pop as soon as water hits their hair. Me personally, of course I do have you know some curls forming, but my curls don't pop the way that they do when I actually go in and personally like curl define it such as finger coiling or shingling or whatever you want to call it but this is just my preference of what i do because it's what gets my curls popping everyone has their own preference everyone has different methods that work best for them but finger coiling is just what works best for my hair especially when it was shorter i did this like <laughs> two or three times a week. I know that sounds crazy, but another question that I get, and I'm actually glad that this came to my mind right now, a lot of people ask me, how do you preserve your hair when it's shorter and how do you maintain your finger coils? And I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all, straight up, and a lot of people aren't. If I had to do this every day, that's just what I would do. And that leads me into another thing. Being natural sometimes isn't for everyone. Having shorter hair is not for everyone because shorter hair, believe it or not, I don't care what anybody says, especially if you're natural, it's more time consuming. My hair is a lot fuller and longer now. This video is from April of 2021. It is now April of 2022 that I'm uploading this, but it was so time consuming doing this. And I did this all the time because me personally, I love for my hair to look nice and look fresh, like day one hair. Y'all let me know down in the comments if y'all feel the same way. But I mean, hey, this is just what I would do. And I would make time to do it. Every day before I had to go into work or whatever, if I had to set aside two hours or whatever to redo it or redo just a few pieces that I felt like were a little frizzy, that's what I would do. Because personally, my hair wasn't long enough at this point for me to really find a way to make it last. Like now, personally, I do uh, the pineapple method and it definitely maintains my curls but because they're longer I can actually do it versus then it wasn't as long to actually get it in several pineapples to help maintain those curls so all I could do was put a bonnet on top and lay flat on my hair and hope that when I woke up the next morning I didn't have that much damage control to do so yeah that's just what I have to say personally when it comes to maintaining this coily hair especially if it's shorter but listen if you want to make it work for you you're gonna make it work for you that's what I always tell people listen being natural isn't for everyone but if you know what you got to do and you want to make it work that's what you're gonna do period but with that being said I just want to say that I don't regret a single thing about cutting my hair I absolutely adore my coils I loved having my shorter hair it was a really cute moment because I had never had shorter hair before I don't regret a thing if I had to do it all over again I would have Having natural short hair is really a beautiful thing. It's such a unique thing as well. I got honestly the most compliments on my hair than I ever have in my entire life when my hair was shorter. People 
people love this shit, no cap. And you know why? Because it's beautiful. We live in a world where having longer hair is such an idolized thing. But when I tell you, when I see a woman with shorter hair, especially when it's natural, it gives me fever. It gives me chills because I literally see some women who only had long hair for the longest time and they finally do a big chop or cut it short. And I'm like, wow. This is her. This is her at her best. Short natural hair is beautiful. Don't ever let anyone tell you otherwise. Finally done after an eternity later. This is what my hair looks like while it's still wet, but when it dries, it looks something like this, okay? Hey you guys, thank you so much for staying until the end of this video. If you did, you're a real one. And as y'all can see, y'all probably like, whoa, how did her hair get, like what's, what's the change? I filmed that video a whole year ago. I filmed that last April of 2021. It is currently April of 2022, so that was a whole year ago, but I finally wanted to go ahead and upload that for y'all. Just a little, you know, yeah. I'm still doing the same thing, so y'all get to see, like, you know, the difference of what my coils look like then versus now. Kind of ignore the front because I have heat damage right there, so those aren't really my coils. These are. It works. And plus, I also wanted to pop in just so y'all can see how my hair has changed so much and it's grown. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, TikTok as well. They will both be linked down in the description box below, so it will take you directly to them. Just make sure that you hit that bell so that you can be the first ones notified when I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching this video once again. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Love you.